trying to look cute, but it's hard to do when you're in a towel. I'm trying this thing called plopping every week. There's something new going completely viral on <laughs> social media and between demure and plopping, I'm seeing it everywhere. You see how I do my makeup for work? Very demure, very mindful. I don't come to work with a green cut crease. This is basically a thing mostly for curly girls because you essentially just pull your hair up. Well, you, you put some like cream, a curling cream in your hair, pile it onto the top of your head into a plop. <laughs> and then you put a terry cloth towel, a one of these, one of these little hair wrap towels, or they even say a long sleeve cotton t-shirt works really well because you can use the sleeves to wrap. When I take my hair out with no heat, I should have a nice curly head. I have like somewhat wavy hair. It's getting curlier and I've never really had curly hair and I've never thought to embrace it before either because whenever I see my hair with curls, it just looks kind of permy. <laughs> I went the perm route, but I've been plopped for a little while now. I plopped about 30 minutes ago. I sprayed my It's a 10 and then this I got for really cheap. I got this for a few bucks on the Clarence Isle at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's by Paul Mitchell. It's called Sugar Twist. And so I think though any like curly cream whatever setters that were meant specifically for tousling <laughs> that word always makes me feel weird tousled or tousled which one is it worked that in and then i plopped and then i've put this on top and this is a pomelo and company hair wrap so that's what we've got going on with the hair but i have some packages and i wanted to open them with you because i have been stacking these things up so this is like a decent sized unboxing, but the exciting thing about it is that we have some thrifted luxury. I feel like I haven't been on the real roll in a hot minute. I went like right in the beginning of summer before our trip and got a couple of things for our vacation. And then I haven't really shopped on there since, but I usually like to buy, I say like one, one or two things a month. You know, I'm trying to grow my collection carefully with like hand-picked pieces and that I will treasure forever. Okay, I took the towel down and this is my hair. <laughs> it's pretty curly, I would say. It's still a little damp. <sighs> okay, let's get back into this. We are going to open the first bag. Cool fabric. It's a Ghani XL, so it's a extra large uh, spandex oversized t-shirt, kind of like netted sweat wicking fabric thing going on, but it's white. It's great. I can't wait to try it on. Rodarte and freaking Beetlejuice have a collab out right now. So if you go on Rodarte's website, you can see all of the Beetlejuicey looking attire that they've made for this movie coming out next month. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait for the movie. I have plans and they're fun. But here's the other one. And this one has been in my favorites and like my saved favorites for a while. I can't believe nobody snatched it up. I started to worry that it was for kids because that tends to happen. Sometimes they'll get mislabeled into the wrong section and then you're stuck with like a kid's item. Good, it's for adults. It's a Ghani to go with my Ghani t-shirt, a Ghani hat. Okay, so it looks like the way that this is gonna go on is like this, so it's gonna be on the side because it won't look right with this. Okay, well, let's go for it. We're gonna try it on. I felt like the price of this was so affordable that I could not pass it up and taupe or nude or cream or like any off white or brown beanies are my favorite or like a light heather gray. I wear them all freaking autumn and winter and look at how cute this is. <gasps> I love it. Oh, that's really nice. It's a really nice fabric. You know, and like all the cool girls are wearing Ghani all the time. I just feel like I need to get in with the cool club. I wanna open this because I want to spray it. I have a new fragrance. The weirdest email came in from Ipsy. Apparently, one of the curling irons that I had added on had been recalled. And so not only did they refund me for the iron, which I still have. So anyway, they sent me a gift card as like a apology and said, please do not use it. <laughs> Dang, was it gonna catch on fire? Like that scares me. I kind of want to look up the recall. So I used that credit to, and it was for, it wasn't for like an Ipsy subscription. It was for anything in the shop. I utilized my gift card for a new fragrance for fall. Look at this packaging. That is beautiful. I'm gonna have a hard time getting rid of that. When things are so nice, I just like don't want to get rid of it ever. 
It's by memoir. It's called Cabin Retreat Number Six. Embark into our sensory exploration of places and emotions. The first dance to a tune, to a marvelous tune played by the evening mm -hmm. owl. The restless deer rustling through the woods and the turtles splashing their way into oblivion. What? <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> Perfume bottles are so dramatic. Like, the commercials are dramatic. What they say is dramatic. Turtles splashing their way into oblivion. I could write these. Can I please have this job? Okay, here's the notes. Cedarwood, oak moss, and sandalwood. Check, check, and check. I want to smell like Sasquatch's armpit. <laughs> wow, this is a big bottle. I'm gonna love this. Look at how big the bottle is. Oh, you know, my husband would like this a lot. If I was nice, I would just give it to him, <laughs> but I want it for myself. I feel like that would be really nice paired with something else. I don't mind having masculine fragrances. I actually prefer it. Like I would prefer my deodorant to be masculine. It's starting to settle and I can smell the firewood now. It smells like a cabin. This is my witchy cabin perfume, yay. I think I would like to save it because I wanna go on a little trip my husband and I have been talking about taking a little mini vacation somewhere on the weekend and just go somewhere fun and I save fragrances for these moments because then the fragrance will forever remind me of that lovely trip and the excitement that I had. I love having memories. I do love having memories attached to fragrances. Gosh that smells so good and wow the packaging is just so nice. That is going to last me a freaking lifetime and I keep getting this every now and then this waft of like spicy firewood. Oh, that's lovely. You know what? My husband doesn't need this fragrance because I've already bought him one that smells exactly like this. It's called like Smoky Firewood or something like that. It's from a local little boutique. I got it for him for Christmas and he wears it all the time. The next thing I got and the only other thing I got in this Ipsy is the R&R Scalp Serum. I wanted to try a new scalp serum because I've been using the Act and Acre and I do like that, but I went through it really, really quick and uh, maybe, I don't know, same size bottle so it's not gonna be the same situation but yeah it's the exact same situation it's got the little dropper and then you just do like little strips through the scalp and then work it in water-based serum hydrates stimulates strengthens and nourishes your scalp peptides niacinamide palmetto ashwagandha uh rosemary and caffeine for revitalized hair i do know that rosemary is known for being a hair growth type of herb female founded i mean it's checking all the boxes Black owned, lab tested, cruelty free, inclusive. Okay, I'm loving this brand. <laughs> I love everything about this. Little notes about the brand on the side. I love that. I love that. Okay, cool. Well, R&R &R scalp serum. Very nice. Got a little NARS delivery. I got my uh, NARS Pro and it took forever to get here. A little NARS sticker. Let's get one, take a picture. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like before I break it. I got one thing for me and one thing for my makeup kit. So I have the Madeline uh, cream concealer for under eye. And then I just got the same thing, but in a cream base. I already have this. So I just wanted one for my makeup kit because I feel like it's a color that would work with a lot of skin tones. I eventually have to buy myself a like concealer palette. And MAC so far seems to be the brand that has that specifically. Anyway, um, I'm going to go make some lunch and get back to work, but I wanted to show you guys that stuff. Alright, well I am at Pilates. I'm about to go in. I have a new instructor today. I'm a little early, but that's okay. I'll go stretch. It's a busy parking lot. This is a big risk. <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna catch me. It's like almost like I'm doing something naughty. Oh, so naughty. Naughty little vlogger. Just got done with Pilates and I'm gonna pop into the thrift store because I wanna do a project tomorrow of some sort, whether it's organizing my closet or sewing a skirt from scratch, which I might try, actually. Well, we are back from a very successful thrift haul, but when is it never a successful thrift haul? It's rare. But this time I was looking for fabric and 
a piece of furniture and I found both. But the furniture is heavy and I'm gonna need my husband's help. So I'm gonna leave that in the back of the car for now. I got a house dress because that's all I ever want. This is one of my favorite colors. I have another house dress similar to this, but it's kind of worn out and it doesn't have this really adorable button in the front situation. It doesn't have pockets. So this one's like a better version of the one that I already have but I'm excited about it. But then check it out. Look at this fabric. Are you seeing the magic of this fabric up close? Look at this. The color of this, it's jean blue, like red, and it has a little off-white striping through it. Oh my God, and then look at this. This is what made me go, oh my gosh. 100% cotton on this little tag. Do not bleach. Crafted with pride in the USA. It is the most delightful feeling fabric. Look at how much. It's so much fabric. I mean, it's so much. <laughs> so many yards of fabric. And I think this was like $6. And this fabric I also really liked. It's just a really lovely raspberry red and cream colored, very soft. It almost feels like corduroy. If I were to describe it, it has lines, like lines going through the fabric. Actually, I think it is corduroy. So yeah, I have some corduroy plaid, really nice fabric. I think this would be fun to make an autumnal, maybe skirt with it. I just realized when I went to take the tag off that this still has the tag on. So this is actually universal thread at Target. I really like universal thread. So tomorrow I'd like to try to make something if I have time to do that as well as bring the dresser in and organize that. But that's not gonna really be that big of a thing. It's just essentially taking the corner section and like redoing it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Day. I'm so stoked because we got a rainy, cold, perfect, cozy day to be home to begin this lovely craft. I'm very excited about it. We have a guest dog here. He just got dropped off. Little Jojo. He's back. If you can see him, I'll have to get a better shot of him later, but he's like pitch black, so it's hard to see him. He looks like a shadow. Can't wait to get this started on this lovely rainy day. Oh, it's like perfect. I did this. I was feeling very dreamy very fairy tale. So I went with the fairy tale storybook cosmetic. I love this. It looks like an actual book, isn't it? Just the most precious. And then Merry Men is the green. So what I did was my favorite trick was taking the Maron mixing liquid and I just shave a little bit of the powder. I did too much. I took a big clunk out of it. I was actually like, no, but carefully shave a little bit of that into a container of some sort and mix a few drops of the mixing liquid. And I created a liquid eyeshadow essentially and made this line and did this little design thing. It was just plain. It was just plain, just having fun. Okay, so I just got done eating. I had a little protein ball and a croissant. <laughs> Now we're gonna get into this. I just opened up the pattern. This is the one that I wanna go with because it says it's easy and I believe it, unless you prove me wrong. I like skirt C, the one in the very front. Will that be the harder one because of the belt loops? <laughs> Probably. All right, so. Well, at least whoever cut into this left all the sizing on the side, so that's, that's good. Thank you, person who did this. Cut to side front C. That's my skirt. Side front C. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve. That's everything.
I just say how proud I am of installing a whole ass zipper myself? It's not perfect, but I did it. Now the thing will be, will the zipper be secure enough? Cause I only sewed down it one time. Probably should do one more row to really secure it. But I don't wanna add a bunch of stitches. Cause I like, I like how seamless it looks. It's looking so nice. It feels so good. Can I just always work with 100% cotton? Because the way this fabric works and sews together is so easy for me. It doesn't move. Electrical's going on. He's doing the internet. Yeah, I gotta say that I gotta say that uh, cotton is the way to go because <laughs> it's so nice to work with it. It just stays put, put it together and sew and it, it stays nice and together and flat and the weight of the fabric really just helps everything work together nicely. It's, it's great. Time for trim and deciding if I want to have it first. <laughs> So see how it's like this, it attaches, but there's extra fabric. So I almost think it would be better if I got something that was more stretchy and just kind of enclosed it that way because otherwise it's perfect. But this snappy thing is just too flimsy and it just doesn't stay. I'm gonna look for a closure thing for it and yeah, like I said, take some Advil, make some dinner, and wind down. Look at how cute! I love these little venues and exploring wedding venues all throughout <laughs> Washington because they're always the cutest and on the like sweetest little road. Kind of creepy, but also kind of cool. I have to pee so bad. I'm gonna go clean, hello, let me help you. Look at this little Muppet. He's a Muppet, he's a Muppet. If Jim Henson was here, he looks like a Jim Henson character. He says I'm just wearing a scarf. Shiver and I shake all the time. So I'm very, very cold. You're kind of like a chihu. Uh, I'm about to go clean with some furniture cleaner and a rag the new dresser and I'm going to just organize all of that today no getting my hair makeup ready because that's what I really want to like go all out with that skirt and really get a great photo in it because I'm so proud of it I'm so proud of it I can't believe I made that I'm in awe of it that I and the, the potential of being able to make clothing I also have to throw our lunch in we're having pot pies and a really yummy salad from Metropolitan Market. Go throw that in. It's actually sunny after yesterday's rain at the wedding. I felt so bad for that bride because today is like a beautiful day and it was 
pouring rain all day yesterday. She probably woke up like, really? How I had it before was this situation, which was t always temporary. You know, it was always meant to be temporary. It, it drives me crazy. It feels like I live in a dorm. This is the little dresser I got. And it actually has some Conant Ball furniture makers from 1852. Look at that. So it's actually really nice. It's nice wood, it's well made, and it matches all of my stuff I already have. I feel like for $11.99 and then I got 20% off is a good deal for a piece of furniture that's this good a quality. One PP, two PP. like in the thick of getting this whole space organized and something that has always frustrated me is that because of the ceilings slant there's a lot of things that don't really fit up here and it too many spots this tall ass mirror that only fits here or in front of the window which I don't want to do and something else that's frustrating for me is that I don't like all of this I want minimal stuff out I want most surfaces to have like two things on it. Like, I already don't like that. That's too much stuff. This is too much stuff. I'm gonna go to yard sale, basically, and see if I can find a mirror that will help get rid of two issues I have. This mirror will just go downstairs. I'm thinking we could have it in the bedroom. All right, well, I ended up getting it. <laughs> Here's the mirror. It's a decent size. This is why I wanted it. The jewelry. Look at that. Stuff for necklaces earrings. I love it. Little rollers I'm gonna try tonight. See how they work so I can have cute hair for tomorrow while the husband hooks me up because I hung these and they fell out of the ceiling. <laughs> so you gotta have someone do it right. See this one over here? It's literally falling out of the ceiling as we speak. We're gonna get to that one tomorrow. But all I care about is getting this pile out of the middle of the room so I can finish my upstairs makeover. I feel like this will make me wear my jewelry more often because I just don't grab for it because it's all disheveled and so it makes me not wear it because I can't find anything. But now I can see it. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's things I forgot that I even had, literally. Like, I forgot about these little moons. And then I love these paperclip ones so much. These are actually like 14 karat gold. I don't have a lot of nice jewelry. Most of it's costume. Most of it is costume. <laughs> like H&M. I'm talking H&M. This is not the place to go if you want to see like fine jewelry because I'm too irresponsible with it. I don't trust myself to have really expensive jewelry. But I'll take some bougie grandma clip-ons all day <laughs> and these crazy ass things. I think I got those from Shein, to be honest. My Timu earrings. But I would just want to wear these to the Jihuly Glass Museum. So I got to fix the other one. I've got it somewhere here on the floor and I've got to glue it back together. Still have a lot to do. It's going to be a busy day tomorrow. You know, this has turned into quite the complete overhaul. <laughs> I was not expecting to do this this weekend. But once I got my racks hanging again, it made me want to go through everything. I brought the poof over here because I think it just looks so much better in this space. I'm loving the dresser. I'm so glad I got it. 
I think it looks great in this corner. And then I've just got some storage things full of hats. All of my jewelry, that's more costume jewelry here in this corner. Uh, my tall boy dresser has been moved here and I put my perfume on it and just cleaned everything and organized all of that. Basically all of my workout, gym clothes, and yoga pants, and leisure wear, it's all going to go in here and then my shoes, all my shoes will come out and be a little bit more easy to get to. So that's what's gonna happen there. And then these two bins are all the stuff that is for sale on my web shop. I just need to organize it and categorize it better and then start photographing more stuff to add to the web shop that's strictly just stuff I've upcycled or vintage or just really nice luxury label stuff. But that's it. That's like all that's gonna be in the web shop. Okay, I don't know, I don't remember her name, but there's definitely a character. Well, I mean, there's always Shirley Temple, but I can't think of Shirley Temple now without thinking about Jimbo the drag queen. <laughs> I can't. I think it's l my favorite thing I've ever seen on RuPaul's Drag Race. Aside from Violet Tchotchke whipping around on the runway and the dress changing, iconic. It's so shiny. I love the idea of doing this because it's heatless and I can just do it and sleep. And I will say these little foam curlers are so much softer because it's just this like wire inside that folds over the curler and having this little pocket over it made it so much softer to sleep on that I had no trouble sleeping with these in. Whereas the other ones, sometimes I would turn and I would feel like the plastic digging into my head. I am using the Hip Dot palette and the color I went in with is Spirit, which is this blue one right here in the bottom. And that is the kind of blue jean graphic eye and then I bought these recently too because I just wanted to have fun with them and they are just little jewels that you can stick on your face and they came with all different kinds I mean it's like four packs of different types of jewels in this one thing so it really came with a lot and I did little stars underneath the graphic Eileen eyeliner Eileen <laughs> yum cute I'm gonna let this dry out. I'm gonna go set up for my shoot, check out the outfit, see how I like it. And I'm gonna reveal the skirt. So here is the completed outfit. I feel like I look like Bernadette Peters from The Jerk. Um, you're so cute. How about 3.30 tomorrow at the Roundup? Okay. <laughs> There's a line in that where he's like touching her skin and he says, wow, your skin is so soft. Are you a model? So smooth and flexible. Are you a model? No. She says, no, I'm, I'm a cosmetologist. A and I just think that's the best line for <laughs> considering what I tried to do with my hair. I was actually not going for this curly. I wanted it to look more like a soft wave, but I brushed and brushed and brushed and I could not get it to do that. Uh, maybe my hair's too fine. I don't hate it. And uh, yeah, got my little hat on with it. Even tossed on some hoops to make it a little bit more current. I could barely see them inside of the hair but they're in there <laughs> and i went with the mugler top because uh, mugler mugler i went with this top because of the casual vibe to it i just thought a t-shirt with this would be mega cute right now in this time because it's the end of summer for the shoes i went for these with this for now again this would be really adorable with really high boots which is really the outfit that I want to wear with this. I honestly think like a black turtleneck and some high boots and like black accessories would be with this but I'm still going for summer vibes so we have the Italian shoemakers little Italian wedge sh shoes, sh 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 shoes. <laughs> and then I thought the little vintage Louis 
it was a perfect accessory uh, purse to go with all of this and kind of tie in all of the various browns and leathers that I put with it because I did a brown belt. I mean, now I know that this probably exists in the world of sewing and in the, in the world of fashion, that when you hike the skirt up and do that, I don't know what it's called, but I'm calling it a skirt pinch. And I told my husband that I've never seen it anywhere else that I can think of and that this is like my personal little mini mini in invention now don't say that I'm trying to <laughs> claim this because again everything's been done at this point everything has been done so I can't say it's all mine but because it's organically designed from my mind without influence of anything else I didn't see it anywhere else I didn't see anybody doing it it was just something I wanted to do to the skirt and I'm calling it a pinch. So you've heard it here first. I am the designer who has created the skirt pinch and it is something that I actually think I might do to a few of my skirts. The husband is, you know, I don't even have to say, do I? <laughs> I don't even have to say anymore. I think he's, I don't even know what room he's in now. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I need to close this out before it gets loud. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on next week's video. Bye.